my lovely followers where have you been where have we been there is two parts to this why visit video today the second part i have done this intro to this video so many times where have we been i'm going to tag that on to the end of the video so you can skip past it if you don't want to and you can end the video there the first part of the video is we have got a ubiquity u6 mesh that we are going to take apart and we are going to show you what is inside one of those units so i'm going to hand this video over to spike and if you can be bothered and you want to watch where we've been and what we've been up to that will be at the end of the video so as promised i am back with spike and we are going to start taking apart this u6 mesh so you guys can have a look at what's inside so go on and spike what bit, what bit are you taking off we're going to take off the foot the, the base at, at the bottom that's got uh, this is an internal one and it has been sitting on a window ledge which if you skip to the end of the video yeah. i'll tell you how we came about this right here and here are two little screws that need to come out i've taken these out previously this section then comes out which is the printed circuit board you can see where the water's got in on that though can't you when it was left on the windowsill oh absolutely and this is a little ribbon cable that connects this circuit board from there into the main body of the unit do you know what i've i've said it on so many videos that that we're not sponsored by ubiquity or anyone we we work with the customers and what they want but i love the style of these they're ripple can size um really sleek really stylish really hard wearing but do you know what even from this video right how are you gonna get in that well let's start <laughs> while i'm doing this but... Go on. can you turn it around a bit more yeah right. right so what bits well there's a metal plate inside it right are you going to be able to to scrape that out does it slide out well, let's give it a go well no is the answer and sometimes man go on give, give it a whack on the on put it on, on the table go on. nope <laughs> what about the top bit feels loose but i can't easily get access to the top bit i feel we're gonna have to cut it open so there we go can't see any obvious ways other than cutting that or absolutely bashing the living daylights out of it. Okay, do you know what? Let's cut to the garden, go and get some tools and we'll see if we can get in it that way. So, as I said, we've come out to the garden because there is no obvious way by the looks of it that you can get into it. So we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try smashing it first of all. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to try sawing it. So go for it, Spike. Oh, I think we've got some. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Look, let's go back inside and then we can go over what we think we've got in there and what we've found. Right. So we've moved back inside. If you slide that out then, Spike. So, let's start on the tube first and what you reckoned to the tube, if we can actually see it. So turn it over. So, go on, what were you finding there? Well, the tube itself is quite strange. You expect it to be one piece of material, but in actual fact, it's a composite. The bottom section of the tube appears to be a light aluminium, and the further down the tube, right towards the far end, the top part of the tube appears to be a composite plastic, which would make sense as these are the transmitter aerials for sending the Wi Fi. And sandwiched between them is the internal component of that. So, so. This here, that's actually quite heavy. What is that? It, just... This is called a heat sink. Because right. they actually transmit, and they have to give off heat at the same time. They do get a tendency to get mighty warm, these. So this is to disperse the heat throughout the unit so it doesn't become over hot. 
So what else from from just from eyesight there? Hold on there. Do you reckon you've got in there? Okay. Well, the top part, uh, if you've seen these in operation, they do have LED lights around the top, which I use for various signalling, like to say whether the unit's being powered up, whether it has a connection. So anything else that you can? What's this shiny bit down here then? Well, this appears to be some sort of shield between some of the circuitry at the bottom and the metal tube, which is the bottom part of the tube. That's okay. it, because it seems to be metal. Let's um, open it and have a look. Is that sticky? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I think it acts more as a cushion to okay. stop it slamming around. So as you can see, you've got the large heat sinks. Okay, hold it there, hold it there, so we can see what else is inside. Okay, yeah, go on. And here you can see the cables that go from the antennas on each side onto the main circuit board. Okay. Any other obvious way there of um, getting into that unit to go in further and show people or not oh, really? Let's find out. I can see some go screws. On. Go on, give it a go. Go on, go for it. See if we can get any further into this unit. Because we only have one shot at this. I'm not going to do it ever again. Perhaps you can't. Perhaps, perhaps that's it. No, there is another screw and it's under here. Do you want me to hold that back? Wait. Okay. Hey, you're almost there. Let's have a look. Look, let's have a. Can you split that? Can you get that no. sideways? Let's well, come to us to see if you can yank it off. No. no. Do we have to smash it again? <laughs> I think not. There we go. Just a little bit more patience. Um, hey, yeah. there we go. Uh, seems to be some sort of protective strip here covering the So is that like this? Because that's, that's sticky. That's stuff. sticky. Yeah. yeah, that is sticky. And I think it's bump pads really to stop it getting knocked about. So, there we are guys. That was a once opportunity to see what is in one of these. Well, as I say everyone, Thanks for watching. If you want to watch at the end of the video to why we've not been around so much, hoping to bring you some more good content in the next coming few months. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe as it helps the channel massively and share the video and we will catch up with you again very, very soon. Ben, why have we not been uploading? I say quite often in our videos that we are so fortunate as a family business, and we are a family business, um, I'm Donna, I do the admin accounts, social medias, Spike is the lead engineer, and also my husband, and we have our sons who work with us together, who specialise all in their own engineers, one of our sons is really great, and does the fibre, and so on. So, we are often up against the bigger players and as I've said before we are so fortunate we have some really large well-known in West Sussex customers and they gave us and have given us and continue to give us the opportunity to do work for them which is absolutely fantastic and we feel really fortunate as a small family business that we are able to go up against the bigger players and this is where it leads on to where we've been.
we got a, an inquiry from the South West in Hereford a few months ago and it has just absolutely spiralled for us. So that one job that we did, they then referred us to another one and another one and so on and so on to the point now where it's got we've got a branch up there in the southwest and down here in West Sussex where we live the main office is so we 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 alternate it so the team will be split half up in in Hereford and half down in here in West Sussex and today we have the opportunity so I'm going to seize it a couple of the vans are in for a service because we are piling on mile after mile after mile on the vans and they needed a desperate service, a maintenance check and go over. So today this came about because we had a inquiry and it was a farmhouse and if you live in Great Britain you know what the weather has been like this season. This was left on a windowsill, which was opened, and the windowsill completely flooded. And I don't know whether you can see it from this bit. It has now rendered this obviously useless. So in a bit, I am going to hand this over to Spike, and he's going to take it apart for you guys, and you can have a look in what is actually in one of these so where are we moving forward we are going to continue to to operate the two branches it's it's so time consuming if you were to look on a map west sussex to hereford on a good day and we leave at five o'clock in the morning we are at a push if it's a really good run for us on the motorway a three hour run if not the worst case scenario, it's been four hours that we're topping to get up there. So it's it's been crazy and that's why we've not been uploading. But I don't know, a couple of months ago, April I think it was, it is my mission. I purchased a DJI drone just to help with the social media, to grow the channel, to grow the website to show what we do and to show the guys at work I've used it once which was that mini little video that I uploaded in April so it's going to be my mission in the next few months and especially as we're heading towards autumn um, I've been out on site with the guys as well and I just have not had time and as I say today the vans are in for a service I'm going to do this video and hopefully the next video that I do, because we're up in Wales, I think it's, yes, this week coming and we are working on a, it's called a retreat where it has the log cabins with the hot tubs, the Wi-Fi is so poor they're in a dip, so we're going to be there and that will be my perfect opportunity, I hope, to get some drone footage. So on that note, I'm going to hand this to be taken apart for you guys to show you what's in it. 